In this section, we'll check out all the resources we can use in GameMaker Studio 2. In the first video, we'll check out rooms, sprites, and tile sets. Then, in the second video, we'll look at sounds, fonts, and objects. In the third video, we'll take a look at scripts, shaders, and timelines. And finally, in video 4, we'll check out paths, include files, extensions, and notes. After these videos, we'll have a basic understanding of each resource available in GameMaker Studio 2 and what they're used for. So let's get started. In this video, we'll begin looking at the available resources in GameMaker Studio 2. We'll start with rooms, then move on to sprites, and finally, tile sets. To start, let's look at rooms. Rooms are the most important resource in a game maker project as they act as a stage on which our game will be seen and played. You could consider a room to be the game's window. Rooms provide us with a place to set out our game and build levels. For example, placing the platforms in a platformer or placing controllers to control certain aspects of our game. Rooms also contain options regarding how the game is viewed as they provide us with a user interface for setting camera properties. We'll go over rooms in more detail later in the course. Next up we have sprites. Sprites are any graphical resource that we add to our game. This can be an animation, a background image, a tile set, or any other graphical resource. In older versions of GameMaker, backgrounds were a separate resource, however this has changed for GameMaker Studio 2, and now all graphical resources are considered sprites. Sprites also give us access to the sprite editor, which is an in-engine graphics and animation creation tool. Much like rooms, we will go over this in detail later on in the course, so for the time being, let's move on. Next we have tile sets. Tiles in GameMaker and many other engines are used as a basic graphical building tool. They are commonly seen used in platform games to place the ground or other visual environment aspects. They are typically square sets of graphics which fit together seamlessly, allowing for a large variety of graphical patterns to be made. Much like the tiles you would find in your kitchen or bathroom, but often more detailed as they are used for more textured things such as dirt, grass, or a brick wall. Typically tiles are not interactive, and are used as a more efficient way of representing graphical environment aspects that the player can see, but not interact with. This is not always the case, but commonly is. Tiles are made using sprites. We load what are called tile sets into GameMaker as a sprite, and then using a tile set resource we can define parts of that sprite as separate tiles. Tiles can be still or animated. Animated tiles do require some extra setup however, and we will go over the advanced aspects of tiles later in the course. In this video we had our first look at some resources in GameMaker Studio 2 and what they're used for. We'll continue this trend in the next video as we take a look at sounds, fonts, and objects.